Well, hello. Uh, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Today I want to compare two pens. So I'm going to do several videos like this. Uh, today, the two pens that I'd like to compare are the Pilot Custom 823, which you know is one of my favorites, and the Sail... Should I try that again? <laughs> the Sailor Realo, which is a pen I bought many years ago, and you haven't seen very much. So let's talk about those two pens. All right, so you won't believe how excited I am to be using my good camcorder instead of my live streaming camera to film this. Wow. <laughs> so tonight I want to compare in this rodeo the Sailor Realo, which is Sailor's not cartridge converter. It's Sailor's piston filling pen. I think it's a 1911. You know, just for a quick comparison, this is another 1911. They're more standard one that doesn't have the cartridge converter in it. The blue one is a smaller version. But, oh yeah, this has a 1911 on it. Wow, my dumb. Or blind or something. Yeah, Sailor 1911. Which I think has to do with when the company was founded. But, anywho... Just a, a quick glance. Um, the uh, Pilot is actually a vacuum filler, but you can't see it because it's the smoky gray finish. So I brought along a wing sung. We're not bringing this to compare. I'm just showing you how the mechanism works. So a vacuum filler. You've got sort of a cone-shaped piston down here. You unscrew up here. You pull that puppy up. It makes a seal up here. Then you go pushy push. It's pushing the air out. Creating a negative pressure behind it. And boom. The negative pressure up here compared to the air pressure causes ink to be forced in here and up into the barrel. Usually to about that level. So very cool, very dramatic filling mechanism. But with a filling mechanism like that, you... Don't spend much time filling it because it's full. And then you write, and that's where things get more interesting. So different brands, but clearly one of these is a copy of the other because they both have the piston turning knob. They both have a round finial. I'm joking, of course. That's a very classic cigar-shaped design. Open them up. I'd say, by the way, the Pilot's just a teeny bit bigger I don't post I don't believe in posting it's against my religion Ratchetosk the Norse squirrel god does not approve of posting so again the Sailor Rialo is a little bit smaller but you know, very comparable types of pens if we look at the nibs oh boy you know, I, both broad nibs. The Sailor is a 21 karat gold nib. The Pilot, I really can't read it, so we're going to go off screen here for a second while Mr. Blind Squirrel gets his loop out and looks. 14 karat. So the, 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 the Pilot is a 14 karat gold nib. Oh, and yeah, there it is in my notes. Look at your notes, Squirrel. So anyway, 21 karat sailor nib, 14 karat pilot nib. I'll talk about the writing experience when I get to it. The But I will say that the sailor nib is a lot stiffer because it's an HB, which means hard broad. The pilot nib is just a broad. They have not identical, but vaguely similar feeds and one last thing worth mentioning if i do a long writing session with the pilot i've got to unscrew the blind cap and the reason i have to unscrew the blind cap is down here yes i know I'm back to the wing song but deal with it this bit forms a seal which actually makes it very nice for flying which you know as a teacher i do all the time for all my exotic vacations that i take with my extra money 
to places like Jamestown and Buffalo, South Dakota. But anyway, that's it has to be unscrewed. I mean, there's a certain amount of ink in the feed, but then you run out and you're just like, oh, gotta unscrew it, talk gone. All right, so just looking at this writing sample, I think you can see, and I'm in a bit of a pickle right now because <laughs> To get it to autofocus, it's got to be right there, and i got to move one of my lights. Okay. So, anyway, I think you can see that the pilot is a little bit more broad. You get more line variation from the Sailor Realo. What I'm going to try to do is use a little bit of high-tech split-screen technology. And, although this is going to create thumps, so hopefully you heard that, I've just moved the microphone onto my desk so maybe it'll pick up let's move it hello mr microphone i'm going to move it right here so it's right above where i'm writing so hopefully it'll pick up the sound of the writing i'll try to be quiet i'll write with the pilot first without comment until the end and then i'll write with the sailor That's the moment when the refrigerator in the house decides to come on. Yay! I would say that there's, oh, she didn't see part of that test. There, there's a little bit more, uh, the, the, the Realo is more dry. There's more line variation, but the Pilot definitely feels bouncier. Uh, there is shading with the, the Sailor, and this ink shades nicely. So, uh, but I like the shading here a lot more, and I've used this with a lot more inks because I've used it a lot more, so there you go. Finally, we will do here the world-famous Pierre Gustafson test. Again, um, without comment, I'll just do it. Small skip there, but I think that was my fault. And so when I'm rushing, the, the, the sailor definitely seems to be a lot more fine. So I feel the feedback more, but it's not a scratchy kind of feedback. It's more of a draggy type of feedback, like I'm being held back. I just don't like the feel of this nib as well as I like this one. So you've seen the Pilot Custom 823 of the Sailor Realo. I tried really hard to make sure I used the broad nib on both to make as comparable as possible. No, I did not use the same ink, but hey, that Fuyu CO gun has run out, so uh, I can't unless I want to buy more ink, and I'm trying to decrease the inks in my collection, so there you go. But I think you can see several things. Um, I like... Okay, let's just put it out there. Which pen do you see me use more often?
When is the last time I used that Sailor Realo? Long time. Uh, I couldn't find it in my pens and use notebook. and I, Well, I've thrown away my other ones, but uh, it's been a long time since I've used it. In fact... Twelve seconds later. So the last time I had the Sailor Realo inked up was for pens and use on July 31st. 2020! So, uh, let's see, before that, October 4th, 2019, uh, then, yeah, so the, I had a stretch of it right there in 2019, March 2019, July 2017, and, uh, I can't actually find my original review of the thing. Let's just uh, check title. Because I didn't used to take a... Uh, I didn't used to put it... Okay, so originally reviewed on September 13th, 2017. So I really haven't gotten a lot of use out of that pen. So what that tells you is there's one that I reach for and one that I don't. I don't reach for the Sailor Rialo. Now, is it a bad pen? No. Uh... Sure, the, the vacuum filling mechanism in the 823 is more fun. It's also, you know, a little more touchy. You know, they're, you know if it gets to the point it doesn't work, what do I do now? But uh, for the most part, you know, you fill it and then you write with the pen. And that's mostly what I think about with the pen is writing with it or cleaning them in some cases. Uh, the Realo is probably easier to clean out just because of the piston. But, uh, you know, neither one is super easy to clean out. Um, I would honestly, the writing, I like the way the pilot writes. It's just got a good feel on the paper. It, it just writes a little bit more wet. Uh, the sailor kind of feels like it drags across the paper, not in a good way. Uh, I, I like the feel of a platinum nib, for example, with its feedback. The sailor, eh, not so much. You know, I do enjoy the Sailor Zoom nib. I have a 1911 that I'm going to keep that has a Zoom nib. But, uh, yeah, I I used to have a, a, a Sailor on King of Pen, actually, on my wish list of pens. It's not on it anymore. I'm just not super thrilled by the Sailor nibs that I've used, other than the Zoom. Sorry. There it is. It comes down to the nib on that pen. Uh, will the Pilot Custom 823 always win? I'm kind of curious to see what I think when I put that next to, say, the Aurora 88. But uh, if I was doing a bracket, which I am not, this is not a bracket thing. Um, yeah, Sailor Realo is off the list, which might be why the Sailor Realo is one of my pens that I'm going to put up for sale when I get that organized. Don't know what I'm going to charge for it, but <laughs> it's going up for sale. So... Anyway, I hope that was interesting and useful. Uh, next week, I'm going to compare the Pilot Custom 823 to the Pelican M800, so two 800 pens. Um, I'm kind of excited to do that. Uh, I There are several videos out there that have done that, which after I film mine, I will probably watch them. I couldn't find any videos comparing the Realo to the Pilot Custom 823, so maybe I'm first. That would be exciting. But... Anyway, expect a few more of these. I did uh, I did the math on it. With the pens I have, there's 24 combinations. But uh, we're not going to do them all because, seriously, compare the Wingsung 699 to the Sailor Rialo. Woo! <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. Sailor Rialo wins! Oh! Pilot Custom 823 wins! Oh! Pelican M800 wins! Yeah, you know, not going to do that. So uh, that eliminates some of the possibles. But anyway, look forward to this as an occasional series, especially right now as I'm trying to catch up on uh, getting some first impressions or reviews or revisits filmed. And uh, hey, the good news is, as you saw tonight, the camcorder is back in action. It only cost me 35 bucks. Rather than send it to Canon for repair, I thought, can I buy a charger for the battery? Sure, I'm not charging it through the camcorder anymore, but I'm not replacing parts on a camcorder. I am just buying a charger. And it worked. So, hey, proof is in the pudding. So, anyway, I want to thank you for watching. 
and uh, let us know down in the comments. Uh, I have on my not not my chat. What's it called? Community tab. I, I've got a post talking about the seven pens. So suggest what combinations you want to see. You know, the ones that are getting more votes are the ones I'm more likely to do. So anyway, thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.